Hey boys and girls, good morning. Elmo loves you. Hello, Elmo loves you. So glad you're here today. <laughs> good morning. I'll go find Mr. Coon. Mr. Coon is sleeping. <laughs> Mr. Coon is sleeping. <laughs> Wake up, Mr. Coon. <laughs> what are you guys doing? <sighs> Hello. You guys out there waiting on me? Wow. Well, cool. Guys, why didn't you tell me that they were all ready and they are watching us? Hello out there. Hey, guess what? It's Tuesday. Tuesday the 21st. Wow, Tuesday. That's so cool. I like Tuesdays. I like Tuesdays. Woo! <laughs> Anyways, and I like you guys too. Elmo was here earlier, and I don't know where he went, and I saw Stitch here earlier, and did you guys see Elmo and Stitch already? You did? Were they doing something silly? Hmm, I bet they were. Well, they'll show up in a few minutes. So, I'm sure they're going to be around eventually. So, I'm sure they're going to be around soon. Wow! Oh! It's Elmo! Hello, Elmo! I'm glad you're here today. Stitch said you was all there, Stitch. Okay, Stitch, thank you, thank you. You don't have to be on my face. Okay, okay. Uh, Stitch said you're going to be here today. Wow! I'm so glad you guys came and visit us. <laughs> Whoa! And I like you! Wow! Anyways, boys and girls, it's gonna be a fun day today. It is Tuesday. Yeah. So, we like Tuesdays. Tuesdays are fun. Every day is fun with you guys! Woohoo! Okay, you guys go over here. And you guys can help with the flags, and we'll do the pledges in a few minutes, and they can help with that, okay? Anyways, I'm gonna say. Welcome, welcome, welcome! I'm so glad you're here today. Oh, uh, it was a little tiring morning. I was tired this morning, but I got up and I stretched really big. Do you stretch sometimes when you wake up? Go, uh, stretch really big. Yes, well, I stretch too and wiggle my neck around and wiggle around a little bit. Then I start waking up. Yeah. Or Mrs. Coon just says, stop kicking me. <sighs> and then I have to get up. Anyways, so I just want to say hi. And thanks for coming by and seeing us today. Now, today we're going to do Play-Doh later on today. I can't remember. Think, 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 Play-Doh. I have to remember. Next video we'll talk about that. Play-Doh. Okay, now let's go ahead and do our pledges. Elmo, would you like to help us? Okay, okay, here. Be careful, be careful. Hold it, hold it, both hands. Be careful. Okay. Okay, you got it? Okay, good job, okay. Boys and girls, hands will be hard. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Let's go get the Christian flag. Yeah. Hold it with both hands. Okay, got it? Gotta be careful. Careful, both hands. Okay, here we go. I pledge allegiance to the Christian flag and to the Savior for whose kingdom it stands. One Savior, crucified, risen, and coming again with life and liberty to all who believe. Thank you. Good job. Yes, I know Stitch. Stitch wants to hold the Bible. He always gets to hold the Bible. Okay, hold it well, Stitch. Okay. Okay, let's begin. I pledge allegiance to the Bible, God's holy word. I'll make a lamp into my feet and a light into my path. I will hide its words in my heart that I might not sin against God. Thank you. Let's go ahead and sing. Hey, you know what? I have a new song. I'm not very good at it. I don't know a lot of songs. That's why we kind of sing the same songs over and over again so we can learn them. Um, I got one. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. So this is like our little light, our finger. 
I'm going to let it shine, okay? So here we go. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Okay, there we go. Hide it over a bushel. No, I'm going to let it shine. Hide it over a bushel. No, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine for the Lord. I believe that's how it goes. Don't let Satan it out. I'm going to let it shine. Don't let Satan it out. I'm going to let it shine. Don't let Satan it out. I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine for the Lord. And just like that, our life. The light in us, Jesus, is love and kindness. We should let people see that. We should let that shine. They should see Jesus in us. We're not going to look like Jesus at all. I don't think Jesus looks like me. But we're supposed to see, people should be able to see Jesus in us. See Jesus' love and see our kindness in us. So we should, what they say, reflect God's light from us. So we're not supposed to keep it. We're supposed to share his love and his light. So that's what that song's about. So let's go ahead and let's do uh, In the Lord's Army. I remember. I remember. Because some of you wanted that yesterday. So we're going to do it now. I may never march in the infantry, ride in the cavalry, shoot the artillery. I may never zoom over the enemy, but I'm in the Lord's Army. Yes, sir. I'm in the Lord's army, yes sir. I'm in the Lord's army, yes sir. I may never march in the infantry, ride in the cavalry, shoot the artillery. I may never zoom over the enemy, but I'm in the Lord's army, yes sir. Good job. And the Bible says we should be soldiers for the Lord. Okay, here we go. I got a nice one. I like this one. Because it talks about Jesus' love. Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. And what the Bible tells us is always true. God's word is always true. That's why God made the Bible for us so we can study and learn and we know what God wants us to do. Those are God's words and God's messages for us. Let's do the Bible song. The Get down low. Don't lay on the floor. Get down low. Real low. The B-I-B-L-E, yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the word of God. The B-I-B-L-E, Bible! Good job, good job, good job. I think I heard Prince and Lorenzo out there. I think they were kind of loud. I think I heard a little bit of Randall and a little bit of Liam out there. So the rest of you can be louder next time when you sing so I can hear you. I know. Edward, I want to hear you. You be loud next time. And Caden, make sure you guys are loud so I can hear you. And you girls, I want you girls to have pretty vo voices. So I want to hear Rebecca and Sonia. And Sonia is in Puerto Rico, so Sonia has to sing really, really loud so we can hear her. And Madison and Ava and Eunice, you guys got to sing really loud because you guys have pretty voices. Yes. Okay, here we go. Now, let's go ahead and uh, pray, and we'll start our day, okay? Let's close our eyes. Dear Jesus, thank you for loving us so very much. We thank you, Lord, for our video school that we can um, have school at our homes, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that, that you are a great and mighty God. We pray, Lord, for people still to get well around our, around our country and around the world that are sick. We pray, Lord, that they'll get better, be it the doctors and the nurses and the policemen and the firemen and the paramedics and... And be with our leaders, Lord. Give them wisdom. And we pray, Lord, that uh, things will start getting back to normal soon, Lord. But we'll put our trust in you. We ask, Lord, that you be with Caden today. Help him get all of his work done so he can have a good day. And, Lord, we ask that you be with Eunice. Help her get all of her work done and she can have a good day. Maybe go swimming in her pool. And, Lord, we ask that you be with Ava. 
Help her get all of her work done, then she can play with her doggy. And Lord, we ask that you be with Edward. Help him get all of his work done so he has a good day and he can play with his brother. And Lord, we ask that you be with Liam. Help him have a good day. He can get all of his work done and he can play with his brothers. And Lord, we ask that you be with Timothy. Help him get all of his work done. Maybe he can go fishing. And Lord, we ask that you be with Randall. Help him get all of his work done and he can play with his sisters. And Lord, we ask that you be with Prince. Help him get all of his work done and he can play with his brother. And Lord, we ask that you be with Rebecca. Help her get all of her work done. And she can play with her sister. And Lord, we ask that you be with Madison. Help her get all of her work done. And she can play with her brother. And Lord, we ask that you be with Sonia. Help her get all of her work done. That she can hang out with Grandma and her cousins. And Lord, we ask that you be with Lorenzo. Help him get all of his work done. And he can play with his brother and sisters. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for your love and grace. And Lord, and we want Caden to get all of his work done. So he can play with his dinosaurs and his little baby brother. We thank you, Lord, for your love and your grace upon our lives. Help me get all my work done, too, today, too, Lord. And I can play with Stitch. And I can, I can play with Elmo if we get all of our work done today. So we thank you for loving us. Amen. Thank you so very much. Now, today, oh, I already said Play-Doh. Okay, so let's go over to the calendar. Let's go. Sneak over here. Sneak, sneak. Whoa, pull in really fast, really fast. Spin around, spin around, spin around. Whoa, you getting dizzy? Oh, I'm getting dizzy way up there. Hey, I, I can't even grab you. You're so far away. Oh, there you are. Hey, guess what? I found the calendar. It was right here. It didn't move. It's right here. It's still here. Okay, today is April 21. So yesterday was 20. So we're in the 20 family. Starts with a 2. So now... 21 is next. So it's April. Oh, can't see that. It's glare. April. 21. Get that. 21. And Tuesday. It's Tuesday. Let's say our days of the week because you guys are so smart and sometimes I need help. Okay, ready? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Remember, we usually do school five days a week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Then Saturday and Sunday, we get off from school. We don't have to do school in those days. So that's a very, very fun. I enjoy playing Legos and resting. And I go to church. Lately, I've just been going to Facebook church. And uh, we sign in. And we do our Sunday school class on Zoom. And we also do our church on Facebook live. So it's very, very cool. But anyways, I still have to get dressed up. Because they can see me in my Sunday school class on Zoom. But anyways, so let's go back over here. Let's go. Let's go really fast. Come with me. Okay, we're going. Woo, we got here. Just in time. Wow. Hey, guess what? I don't know if you've seen this. I got a new G.I. Joe shirt. If you guys know who G.I. Joe is, maybe your daddy knows more than you. But G.I. Joe, this guy is snake eyes. He's like a ninja for the good guys. But anyways, so that was my new shirt. Okay, I'm not going to do a dab. I'm way too old to do a dab. Anyways, I almost did a dab. Uh, but anyways, so let's talk about, we talked about before, about Jesus dying on the cross for our sins, okay? He died on the cross for our sins. But you know what? The Bible said on the third day, which was Easter, that's why we celebrate Easter, he arose from the dead. He proved that death did not have the victory over Jesus. Jesus is more powerful than death, and Jesus came back from the dead. Mary and some of the ladies, Mary Magdalene and some of the ladies, came to visit Jesus' tomb, believing that Jesus was dead. And they're going to come down there, put some... Um, nice, pretty, smelly perfume and some flowers. But when they got there, <gasps> the stone had been moved away. If you remember from when the other pictures after Jesus died, the Roman soldiers put a big stone in Jesus' tomb so he couldn't get out or nobody could get in. But Jesus didn't need any help. He's all-powerful. And he arose from the dead and moved the giant stone. She went and told some of the disciples. And they came back. Peter and John came back and were like, oh, 
The stone is gone. Where is Jesus? I forgot to tell you, there was an angel up there. When the ladies came, the angel was telling them, Jesus was gone. Jesus was resurrected. Jesus was alive. So they went back and they told Peter and John. They came back to look and see. And Jesus was not there. Then Mary came back and Mary was crying. She was upset. She thought somebody stole Jesus' body, that Jesus' body was gone. And yet Jesus came up behind her. She didn't know she was all upset. She didn't even pay attention to the voice. And he asked her, what's wrong? And she says, somebody stole Jesus' body. We loved him and worshipped him. And he told her, Mary, no one stole my body. I am here. I came back from the dead. And then she realized she had been talking to Jesus. She ran back and told the disciples, Jesus is alive. I saw him myself. Plus, we saw the angel that told us before. Nobody stole his body. He's alive. Then later on, Jesus came and appeared to the disciples. They're all up in a room. And they were having dinner, maybe praying. And he showed them the scars on his hands. I'll show you really close. His hands has little scars. For where they nailed his hands to the cross, he showed to them that he was really Jesus. Then shortly after that, Jesus went up in the clouds to heaven. And he told his disciples, I will come back one day. I am going to heaven to prepare a home for you. But one day I will come back to earth. And But in the meantime, if we die before Jesus comes back, we get to go to heaven and we'll see Jesus. But those, the time Jesus comes back, then they'll be... Fly to heaven with Jesus. So that was a great story about Jesus. And we'll talk about that a little bit later on again. But I just wanted to go through that really, really fast with you. I know it was a lot of pictures. And we'll go over it next couple of days. About the return of Jesus. Jesus died, but he didn't stay dead. He returned. To prove his power. And to let everybody know he was their savior. That you could trust Jesus. And he will forgive you of your sins. And he paid the price for your sins. So you can trust him and go to heaven. And I'm very happy that I did that. That I asked Jesus into my heart. And Jesus saved me. I still sin. I still make mistakes. But I'm sad about it. And Jesus forgives me. And I just try to do better. And, and I'm appreciative of everything Jesus gives me. So... Remember that, okay? The story of Jesus and his return. That's what Easter is about. Now today, oh, I wanted to tell you guys something. I forgot to, speaking of Jesus and Jesus' return and Jesus' love, and we're talking about the light. Don't hide the light. This little light of mine, I'll let it shine, which is Jesus' love. I want to take this moments and seconds and maybe a minute to tell you that I love you, that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. God made you on purpose for a purpose. God has a plan for you in your life. Bible says God's way is perfect. If we want the best way is God's way. So we should do God's way in our lives when we get older. Okay? So, Lorenzo, I love you. Uh, Kaden, I love you. Uh, Prince, I love you. Uh, Edward, I see you, Edward. I love you. Uh, Randall, I love you. Uh, let's see. Liam, hey, Liam, I see you. I love you. Uh, let's see. T Timothy, I love you. Uh, Ava, I love you. Uh, Madison, I love you. Eunice, I love you. Uh, let's see. <gasps> Rebecca, I love you. And I have to look really, really far, really, really far with my eyes because she's really far away. Sonia, 
all the way in Puerto Rico with her grandma. I love you. And I see you. I love you because God gives me love to share. God gives me love. And I share the love with you. God doesn't give me kissy love. No. God gives me love to show kindness. To be your friend. To be your teacher. To help you. That's the kind of love that God gives me. And he wants us to share. The Bible says God is love. And the Bible says love one another. And the Bible says be kind one to another. So those are things that God wants us to do. To love each other, be kind to each other, help each other, and tell your friends about God. That God is wonderful and that God loves you. And, and you know, we show our love to God by obeying God and doing right. At your age, you got only one little job to do. It's an important job, don't get me wrong. But you have one job, and your job is to obey not to have hissy fits. Not to get mad. No. But to obey. You obey mom and dad. You obey grandma and grandpa. You obey teacher. You obey. Your job is to obey. Let us adults, let mom and dad, grandma and grandpa, and teacher worry about all the big stuff. All you got to worry about is you and obeying. And that's what God says. He wants us to obey. And the Bible says it's even better to obey than sacrifice. Obedience is the most important thing. So, and that's how we show respect and love. Remember a Bible verse for this week. It's a new one says, Honor thy father and thy mother. That's showing respect. That's showing love when we honor them. Being mean to them, being pout or sticking out our tongue. Mm, that's not showing love and respect. No, that's not showing honor. Honor is obeying. Um... Doing it with a good attitude, telling them you love them. Um, that is that is honor there. So it's very important. The Bible said that children need to obey and honor their parents. So if it wasn't important, it wouldn't be in the Bible, and God wouldn't talk about it. So it is very important. So that's your job. It's an important job. Make sure you obey. Sometimes we don't feel like obeying, but we still got to do it. We still do our job. I want to tell you guys that I'm very proud of you. We're in the middle of the fourth week of video school. You've been doing this for four weeks, almost four weeks of video school. Wow. Some of you watch me with a tiny little head. Some of you, I know Liam has a giant TV and my head is huge. And some of you have a small little laptop. Or you're watching it on the phone. I've seen the different pictures. So, very, very cool. Oh, there's something else I meant to tell you. Oh, tomorrow, which is Wednesday, because <laughs> Wednesday comes after Tuesday, silly. Um, we're going to have another fun day, dress-up day. Hmm. And I've been thinking about some different things. I'm trying to decide um, what we're going to do. So, I'm going to do one. We're going to dress up silly. It can be silly day. So, you can wear your, your clothes backwards. You can wear your clothes inside out. You can wear a funny hat or something. You can wear something funny. But it's silly day tomorrow, so you dress silly, okay? You can wear two different shoes that don't match. Your socks don't have to match. You can do whatever you want, but it's silly. Silly day tomorrow, okay? And I gotta remember that. I have to bring some silly, silly clothes. So make sure your clothes don't match. And they're silly. And nobody will see anyways because you're not going outside in your clothes. So, so you don't have to be embarrassed or, oh, my clothes don't match. <laughs> but wear something silly tomorrow. And that'll be funny. And we'll, you'll send me a picture. And then I can send the pictures to other people. If you send me your pictures. That'd be good. We could share our pictures with each other. Our silly pictures. Yeah. What? Uh, I don't know if they're going to be as silly as you. Because he's always silly. Yes, he is. Always, always silly. And Elmo, thank you for coming today. It was very nice to meet you. And, uh, and Stitch, you always have the nicest friends. Your probably best friend is probably Mr. Coon, right? What? What do you mean, no? I'm not your best friend. Well, who's your best friend? Who? 
oh, God's your best friend. Oh, but am I, am I also a friend of yours? Oh, good, good, good. I'm glad I'm your friend too. Okay, good. Yes, I love you too. Okay, 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 okay. Thank you. You didn't have to hug my face. Um, anyways, boys and girls, we'll see you guys later. Get your work done. See, you got some work behind you. And um, watch this, then we can watch the next video. So today is Tuesday, and today you only have five videos to watch today, okay? No story time video. You'll have one tomorrow, okay? I love you guys. I'm proud of you. Get your work done, okay? So then you can have the rest of the day to play once you get all your work done. Okay, we'll see you later. Bye. Say goodbye. Bye. <laughs> okay, we'll see you guys later. Bye. Okay, let's get you guys ready with your work. And then we can get over here, Elmo. So we can get our work done and we can play with Play-Doh. Because we're going to do Play-Doh today. Bye-bye. <laughs> hey, I say goodbye. Go. Go do your work. Hurry up. Hurry up. Bye.